Welcome and thank you for taking this course. First, a little bit about us. We are a business design firm specializing in services to help companies develop and improve their business strategy as well as their product and services. We leverage our unique proprietary methodology and we've developed this course to teach participants how to pivot how to find the best formula for products and services. First, some introduction. This course is recommended for business owners or designers who may have experienced some failure with their products and services so that they could redesign, find the right formula as quickly as accurately for your products as possible to ensure that they're competitive and successful in the marketplace. Or for business owners and designers who are launching new products or services from scratch. If you follow in the Lean Startup model, part of fail fast process is to pivot from time to time to find a better direction or approach for a product or service this course is intended to help us figuring out where and how to pivot in order to decide about where and how to pivot we would have to come up with some options ideally options that are likely to make your product or services successful and competitive in as a few iterations as possible as opposed to trying to pivot in random directions over and over again until the right formula can be found after taking this course instead of randomly shooting in the dark you will be able to find the best formula for pivoting that are optimized by design to address the most important and most urgent customer values. In this course, we will include step-by-step -step guidance, techniques, templates, examples. If you do have a product and service in mind, we suggest that you start performing analysis for your business as we introduce the key concepts and techniques. About examples that we will be using in this course. Primarily, we will be using examples from commonly available, widely known and familiar products and business types to illustrate key concepts, such as phones, such as cars. The examples that we use are not intended to be totally accurate, totally complete or exhaustive for their respective areas as it would typically be done in real world exercise. We include just enough content to illustrate the key concepts and techniques. And examples that we use in different steps and different activities will not necessarily be related or connected to each other. The purpose of using examples and how we've selected examples is based on how easy it would be to illustrate individual concepts, as opposed to trying to demonstrate the progression of analysis and design activities as methodology is applied for a specific product or service. What we offer is a systematic, structured and executable approach. This methodology doesn't require any strong background or deep expertise in business series. You don't have to go and get certifications such as lean certification, for example. It offers a model that a person or team can follow, use a common terminology, execute step by step. The only requirement is that they have to understand their customers and they need to understand the industry and competition. You don't have to be a chef or Finnish culinary institute to follow recipes to make great and delicious food. Likewise, our methodology is more of a recipe that can be followed to perform each of the activities. We include how-to techniques, we include the templates and formats, and we teach how to develop each of the building blocks in the process and each of the documents required in the process. If you are interested to learn more about some of the underlying methodologies and approaches, we would recommend four books to start with. The Lean Startup, by Eric Ries, fascinating book, highly recommended. Probably the first book where the term pivot was introduced as a key concept of a business strategy. We're gonna spend a little bit more time on the next slide to discuss what does it mean a pivot, but this book would be a very useful read if you wanna take the best advantage of this methodology. Another book is Creating the Kaizen Culture by John Miller and others. It's a deep dive into lean methodology, very useful and very informative book. The next book is Adaptive Enterprise by Steve Hackle. This is where he goes into more detail about describing sensory response methodologies versus make and sell. This is one of the key methodologies that we've used in our approach. And the last uh, book is Use Case Driven Approach by Ivor Jacobson. This methodology was originally introduced primarily for software development area and it's still very popular. And we are using this approach for our business design methodology. Let's spend a moment on the definition of what is a pivot. The definition of pivot is covered in depth by Eric Ries in his Lean Startup book. Pivot is defined as a major change 
a structured course correction designed to test a new fundamental hypothesis about the product strategy and engine of growth. If a product or service is not generating a desired acceptance rate, and by acceptance rate we mean ratio of number of times customers would up to accept your product versus number of times customers would up to reject your product or service. Sometimes it's also called win-loss ratio. So when significant number of customers up to reject the pr product or service after having a chance to consider it, a pivot to a new direction may be required. Pivot in our context for this course would mean making a change ultimately to redesign or redefine your product or service to improve its value to the customers to achieve the desired level of acceptance rate. So this course is called How to Pivot and by How to Pivot we mean how to redesign your product or service. By how to pivot we mean how to find the winning formula for your product or service to achieve success in the marketplace. And by how to pivot we mean how to overcome failures with your existing products and services. And by how to pivot we mean how to perform in-depth analysis of the customer values to be able to generate and validate new ideas for your product or service using an iterative and incremental approach. So how to redesign your product or service? In order to do that we would need to know what customers to target and how to target them. We would need to know what is the most important and urgent for the target customers, what benefits the customers would like to accomplish, and what difficulties, obstacles, pain points and issues the customers would like to overcome. Why customers would consider your product or service, what other alternatives they would likely to consider, and what type of criteria the customers would use to compare different options and how to ensure that the product or service would provide sufficient value for customers to accept them, and what would be the typical reasons why the customers may opt out to reject your product or service, and how those reasons can be proactively addressed. Now, all of these items constitute, in essence, analysis, and this course provides a structured approach to get answers for each of these items. The next step would be how to make the design decisions, and to define a new hypothesis for your product or service's design it comes down to four steps. First, we would need to identify different options and approaches to address the results of analysis. So results of analysis obviously can be handled and addressed in a number of different ways. Number of different approaches could be offered or number of different options could be considered. In essence, we would like to identify as many relevant options as possible so we can choose from. The second step would be to define the scope, which items we're gonna address and which items we're not gonna address. And to prioritize different approaches that we can consider for our product or service design. The next step number three would be to define an approach how to test and validate each of your hypotheses, each of your design configurations. And number four would be to perform tests and identify which of the design configurations, which of your hypotheses would be actually the winning formula. So all of these activities are incorporated in each of the steps of the approach that we teach in this course.